Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So for the past 10 days I have been hosting a giveaway and a 10 day challenge together with Clapwell, the capsule wardrobe app over on my Instagram. And I have occasionally been working with the app and the team behind the app lately, but this video is all me. This is not sponsored by Clapwell or anything like that. And my excitement for this app started way before I even began to work with them. So all of the collaborations that I do are always all me and my honest opinion, but I just wanted to put that out there. So there are other capsule wardrobe apps on the market and also capsule wardrobe apps that are made both for iOS, so for your iPhone or for Android. And the sad thing about Cladwell is that it's only still available for iOS and I'm completely aware of this and I completely understand why you guys feel sad about this. As far as I'm concerned, it's already in their pipeline, so they're working on expanding for Android, but my guess is that, you know, they had to start somewhere and iOS just seemed like the most, the, the thing that made most sense at the beginning. So fingers crossed that it will soon be available for Android as well. If you do have Android and you're dying to try one of these capsule wardrobe apps or just to make a visual overview of your wardrobe in some sort of app. There are other apps like Stylebook and Smart Closet as well, and I'll link both of these down below. These are great alternatives. But back to Cladwell. Right now, Cladwell is actually free for the rest of your life if you sign up right now. It is a limited time offer. Usually it's like a paid subscription. So hurry up if you want to get Cladwell for free for the rest of your life. Flatwell has already made a guide on their website on how to change your subscription from paid to free as well. So if you do have a paid subscription right now, there's some easy, simple steps that you can follow in order to make your subscription free for life. So I'll link that down below. Anyway, I've gotten so many questions regarding the app ever since I started this 10 day challenge, even way before that. So I've just gathered the most common questions together and put together a little guide at the end of this video. But first we'll have a look at the 10 day challenge and I'll give you kind of a recap on how everything went for me. So the 10 day challenge, what has this all been about? Well, what we did during those 10 days was basically just letting Cloudwell choosing an outfit for us every single day and then just wearing that outfit, so pretty simple. So the main goal of this whole challenge was to rediscover our wardrobes and learn something about our own style. At the end of the day, to have fun with what you already have, to minimize the amount of new purchases and also to become wiser in regards to future pur purchases. Personally, I've never done what you'd categorize as a normal 10 by 10 challenge. And you might ask, what the heck is a 10 by 10 challenge? And it is a challenge that is um, invented by the capsule wardrobe blogger, Lee Vosberg. She's amazing, by the way. I'll link her profile down below along with more info about the 10 by 10, 10 by 10 challenge. I actually think she's doing a 10 by 10 challenge right now. So if you're keen on trying that, then definitely check out her profile. In this challenge, you pick out 10 items from your wardrobe and then you wear these 10 items for 10 days. So that's basically that challenge in a nutshell, whereas the Cladwell challenge was just your entire wardrobe for 10 days. Personally, I've never been so keen on a traditional 10 by 10 challenge because I feel like I would have to restrict myself and I feel like there's a lot of groundwork that I need to do before the challenge. And then also I feel like my wardrobe is already as curated as I want it to be. I don't feel like I need to pare it down even more. Plus, you know, the whole goal with these challenges, both the Cloudwell challenge, also the, the traditional 10 by 10 challenge is obviously to learn something about yourself and your style. And if you're at the beginning of this, I definitely think that challenges like these can teach you a lot. But I feel like personally, I've just come such a long way already that yeah, a normal 10 by 10 challenge just never really been something I felt like doing. So I feel like I want to be able to wear everything I have in my wardrobe. Most of you know that I've already come up with a system that works really well for me. So I have my all year basic wardrobe, which of course there are items that I wear more than others from time to time, but I still like to have the opportunity to wear these items because I really love them. And then also each season I have my seasonal capsules that I make and I already put so much so many thoughts and so much effort into making these 
small seasonal capsules that I don't really feel the need to take out 10 items from everything and to wear them. You know, I want to be able to wear everything. But yeah, again, that's just my personal opinion. You should definitely try the 10 by 10 challenge if you're just all new to this whole curated wardrobe kind of thing. I think you could learn a lot about yourself. So not a single bad word about the traditional 10 by 10. It's just never really, I've just never really felt like doing it myself, but maybe I will someday, who knows? I might change my mind. So before the challenge, I did cheat a little bit. I actually pre-recorded all of the 10 outfits and I also took pictures of everything and I chose all of the outfits before the whole challenge even began. But I did actually wear these outfits throughout the 10 days anyway. Um, there were a few days where I might have changed a pair of pants because I had a period, so white pants were just not an option for me. But um, other than that, I've actually pretty much worn everything that the Cloudwell app suggested for me during the 10 days. So I don't hope you consider that as cheating when you look at the fact that I'm the host, so I had some groundwork that I needed to do. Plus I do use this app and I use it every time I have to travel because it's a great like packing list as well. And whenever I have a special occasion, I like to browse through my options of different outfits. So I really do use that app a lot. So the biggest success for me during these 10 days has definitely been wearing my brown loafers. Now I've mentioned this a bunch of times through my previous videos that I have a pair of brown loafers that I added to my autumn capsule at the beginning of this season. I have been wanting a pair of classic brown loafers for such a long time. And then I went ahead on Everlane and bought their absolutely stunning penny loafer. On their website, it says that they recommend that you size up half a size, so I did. But I've actually discovered that I probably needed to size up an entire size because these shoes are so unbelievably stiff. So I've kind of been avoiding using these shoes, which is such a shame because soon it will be too cold for me to even wear them and then I won't be able to wear them before spring again. And they just fit so seamlessly together with everything I have in my wardrobe. So I want to wear them. And the app made me wear these shoes, I think four days out of the 10 days. So that was pretty good. So what I did one night was actually to stuff the shoes with a pair of damp socks. And then I just left them overnight and then I wore them the next day. And that has really made a huge difference. So if you have a pair of shoes that are too stiff or just too tight in any way, this might help you. So they're already a lot more comfortable now than they were before. And I've actually really been enjoying wearing these shoes. So yeah, that's definitely been a success for me during these 10 days. Then I've also been aware of just how much I love the combination of a top, some sort of jacket, and then a pair of jeans or pants. That is just my ultimate go-to style uniform. And I feel amazing every time I wear something like this. And I feel absolutely fine with that. I feel fine with the fact that that is what I wear most days because I feel amazing. Also, I didn't wear a dress or a skirt a single time through this challenge and I'm fine with that. I'm not a dress girl and I've never been. I probably never will be. And it's great that I know this because then I know that this is not the type of item I need to put my money in. That's not where I need to put my energy. And then lastly, I think that one of the places where Clapwell is a really great app is to help you layer up your outfits in new different ways, which I definitely have been. You know, I definitely come up with new outfit combinations that I wouldn't have been able to come up with myself. And a great example is, for example, my vintage check blazer with my green shirt from Everlane and then my white jeans. I might not have come up with that outfit myself or reached for that myself, but I actually felt really great in that outfit. So there are two ways that I like to figure out what to wear through the Cladwell app. One way is to look through the all outfits library which is just at the beginning. So at the start, pa start page, if you scroll down, there's like a tab that says view all outfits. So I like to just sometimes browse through all of these outfits if I have some time to kill or even in the morning, I browse through these outfits and then I favorite the ones that I like. And if I find some, find an outfit that I want to wear, I make sure to log it so that it is saved within my um, style profile. And that is basically also how I prepared the 10 day challenge. So I picked out 10 different outfits from the all outfits library. The other way that you can find an outfit is obviously to 
use the feature where Cladwell comes up with an outfit for the particular day. I think it comes up with like three or four different suggestions for the particular day based upon the weather and the temperatures, which is really clever. I do use this feature sometimes if it comes up with something that I just that's just spot on for that particular day and that just suits my mood on that particular day. But again, I use the other feature more because it, I just have more options and I like to kind of browse through, kind of like when I'm um, looking for inspiration on Pinterest, I like to kind of browse through the all outfits library as well. So if you're still a little bit lost about how the heck this Cloudwell app works, then let's just go through a few steps that I've noted down here on my computer to get you started so that you can get success with this capsule wardrobe app. So the first step is obviously to create your wardrobe within the app. That is the whole deal with this app. There are two ways that you can make this visual overview. One way is to find items within the Cladwell items library. So just pick out items that are similar to what you already have in your own wardrobe. Many of the items that I find in that library are actually very similar to what I have already. It doesn't matter that they're not 100% the same, but, it's, but at the same time they need to be very similar so that you know what kind of items the app means when it picks out out outfits for you. The other way that you can add items to your visual wardrobe in the Cloudwell app is to add custom items. And I'll return to that in just a second because I think that it's pretty important that you really nail this in order to have success with the app. Now, as you can see, I have many, many different capsules within my Cloudwell app and I definitely need to weed them out very soon because I have like capsule wardrobes from last year. But then at the same time, I feel like it's it's nice to have the ability to go back and look how I did last year. So I both have an overview of my all year basic wardrobe, which is 80% of my entire wardrobe, just because it's nice to have an overview of just this part. Then I can quickly, you know, if there's something I'm not wearing or something I want to replace with something else, I can just do that within the app and then you know, quickly get an overview if I feel like I have everything that I need. Then every season I add all of those same basics into another capsule. So for example, if we say that I was about to build my autumn capsule, I would add all of the same items that I have in my basic wardrobe into that capsule. And then I would add the seasonals as well. And the reason why I want to add both of these categories within the capsule is obviously because I want to make sure that the app comes up with outfits that both consists of all your basics, but mixed together with my seasonals, if that makes sense. You could obviously also make a capsule just with the seasonals if you want an overview of just those. And then finally make a third one where you mix both of these so that again, it comes up with outfits uh, based on both of these sections of your wardrobe. I really hope this makes sense. So a way that I keep my all your basics fresh and you know my main capsule fresh is by adding these seasonals every season so yeah that's basically how i do the whole capsule wardrobe system i think it's really important that you make sure to divide your clothing so that you don't mix up you don't just register everything into one capsule so if you have both summer clothing and winter clothing in your wardrobe right now don't put everything in the same capsule i think that it's really important that you divide them. Otherwise, Cladwell will come up with weird outfit combinations. So a fur coat with a pair of denim shorts and sandals, you know, that wouldn't make sense. So I think it's really important that you do the groundwork and you make sure to divide everything so that it makes sense. Otherwise, Cladwell can't really help you. So you could obviously follow the way that I do it, but you could also come up with your completely own system if that makes more sense to you. I have capsules, as I said, both for my all year basics, then I have for my seasonals, then I have packing lists, and I also have my occasion wear in another capsule so that if I need some inspiration on what to wear for a special occasion, I can look through the outfits library in there. So that's kind of the way that I like to use the app. So moving on to adding custom items. This is something that I've gotten so many questions about over on my Instagram and I completely understand. It is kind of cryptic actually. So there are two ways that you can add custom items to the app. When you search for an item in the uh, items library, there's a tab that says add custom items. So that is basically the tab you want to focus on in this whole step. One way you can add your own items is by searching for items on Google. So if you know the style name of a certain item that you can't find in the Cladwell items library, but you really want to add this item, 
Go on to Google and if you know the style name again, search for that style name and then take the pack shot, save it down to your phone. That's the easy way to do this. Otherwise, if you can't find the style anymore, if it's really old, I would go on to another website and see if I could find something similar and then just save that item down to my phone. If you're unaware what a pack shot is, it basically means, you know, those um, pictures where it's just the style on a white background, not on a model or anything, just the style. So that's what I mean when I say pack shots been working in the fashion industry for too long. So you save the photo onto your phone and then you add it to the library. Easy. Another thing you can do if you just can't find the item online is to take a photo with your phone and then put it into the library like that. I would recommend you to take the photo on in natural daylight so you need to have great lighting and also maybe iron or steam the item and make sure that it lays really nice and flat on the ground so it looks really neat and nice once you put it up into the app. And then also one final thing you could do is download an background eraser kind of app. I will link a few options down below um, because I think that one of the things that makes Cloudwell so nice is that how neat everything looks. So I think it's for me it's really important that everything looks alike and that there's not any blurry pictures or any dark pictures or anything on different kinds colors of backgrounds things like that I really like that it's just the items on a white background um, for me that's really important just as uninspiring as it can be in real life when you pull out an item from your wardrobe that's just really creased and you know just so uninspiring I feel like it's just as uninspiring if you take a picture in a really dark light of an item that's really creased and then put that up into the app. So you know what I mean? So yeah, I feel like it's really important that if you add custom items that you take pictures of yourself, it's really important that you make sure that these pictures come out really nice. I already have an overview of my wardrobe that I also make in Photoshop, you know, those that I put up onto my blog. So that's another way you can do it. Take Take a picture, upload it into Photoshop and then erase the background and then save the photo onto your phone. So moving on to the third step, which is adding these custom items into the correct categories. That's really important that you take some time to put these items into the correct categories. Otherwise, Cladwell won't be able to include them in outfits in the right way. So that's really important. So if you have a jacket, it's really important that you put it into the jacket category. If you have a cardigan, it's really important that you put it into the cardigan category. And then moving on to step number four is how to use Cladwell as a packing tool. I've already made a packing guide a while back where I kind of talk about how I use Cladwell as kind of a packing overview list. So if you want to go back and have a look at that with video, I will link it down below. Um, it's a great way to help yourself pack light and also to make sure that you bring enough at the same time and then you can see how everything looks together which is just really cool. Moving on to the fifth step which is the whole style profile which is a kind of a new feature on the Cladwell app. It's not my favorite feature to be honest, I don't really use it that much but again it's because I feel like I'm already so far along in my process with you know paring down, down my wardrobe that I don't really need to dig in to my style all that much. Of course, I can always learn something and there are, you know, periods throughout this whole thing where I need to kind of get back on track, but I don't use the style profile that much. But definitely, if you're all new to this, then it will probably be very helpful to you. What the style profile does is actually it tells you what kind of items you prefer wearing and what kind of colors you like most and all these kind of things that you need to know in order to learn something about your own style and also to become wiser when it comes to future purchases. It does require that you remember to lock your outfits. So when you lock your outfit, that means that you say to the Cloudwell app, I'm wearing this today. Otherwise, it won't really be able to get to know you and get to know your style preferences. So you need to be very active with the app like that. And also you need to dismiss outfits that you don't like so that it all the time knows you know, that it gathers up a lot of information about you. I'm not always very good at that myself, and I think that's partly why I don't really use the style profile. Again, one of the features that I love the most about this whole Cladwell app, among, of course, having a visual overview of my wardrobe, which I think is just amazing. 
But the feature that I love the most is definitely automatic outfit generator. I think it is amazing and I use it, like I've said, almost on a daily basis. It helps me out a lot. So that is mainly why I use the app, but definitely if you're all new to the capsule wardrobe system, then the style profile will probably be very helpful to you. So within the app, you can also find a shopping guide or a shopping list, which is also a quite new feature within the app where you can find a lot of items that you might you know, you might be considering adding something to your wardrobe and then you can add the item to your current wardrobe and then just see how it looks with everything that you already have. So in that way, you make sure you don't buy something that you don't really see yourself wearing anyway, which I think is pretty cool. Finally, I just want to say that Cladwell is just a helpful tool. I'm not saying that you should base all of your outfits for the rest of your life on the suggestions that Cladwell comes up with. But for me, it's been highly addictive. I love browsing through the outfit library and you know just as with pinterest it's just so highly addictive and i love playing around with my own style like this especially if i have a special event coming up and i want to look a bit extra i like to dig into my wardrobe like this so that's mainly why i really love this app but just because the app comes up with an outfit combo it doesn't mean that you have to wear exactly that so if it comes up with a, with a combo that you actually really like but you don't like the jacket or the jeans or whatever change it up and you know mix things up you can totally do that if it just helps you a little along the way then that's great as well and then sometimes Cladwell doesn't really add a jacket or a coat or something to to your outfits and i don't really know why but you know sometimes it only comes up with like a jumper and um, a pair of jeans and a pair of boots but then you can just add the jacket yourself so just pick out any jacket from your wardrobe that you feel like wearing and then also, of course, you can build your own outfits. So if you come up with something really great, you can lock those into the app as well and build them totally from scratch. One thing I really hope the app will be able to do in the future is to add accessory and accessories and jewelry because I feel like they can really make an outfit. For me, accessory... Bless you. Oh, have a... For me, accessories and jewelry can really make an entire outfit. So I really hope that this is... A a feature that they will soon incorporate into the app. So that was quite a long and heavy one, but I really hope that it made sense and I hope it was helpful. And if you have any questions, I'll do my best to answer them. So just write them down below. But if there are any like technical questions or something that's not working correctly within the app, please write to the Cladwell team. I'm sure that they will gladly help you. And again, if you have the paid subscription right now and you'd like to switch it to free, make sure you do that really quick and follow the guide that I will link down below for just that. Finally, I just want to thank those of you who participated in my Cladwell 10 day challenge. I loved seeing all of your outfits and the participation just blew me away. So thank you guys so much for participating and for supporting the whole giveaway and the whole challenge. Make sure you swing by my Instagram to see who the lucky winner of the cash price giveaway of that whole challenge was. Lastly, I just want to wrap up this video by saying thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it and then I hope to see you all in my next video on Sunday. Thank you guys. Bye.